Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo technical developer in this video we are going to talk about default values in uh, Odo how we can set default values for uh, fields in Odo in Odo any field can be given a default value for example if I go to the uh, sale module and uh, create a quotations uh, I can see on the form that some of the fields uh, are filled in by default when I just click on the create button, I can see quotation date is the current date. And if I go to the other info, I can see sale person is uh, automatically filled in with the system. And sales team is automatically filled as a Europe. And online signature and these are the uh, uh, Boolean field and these two are many to one field. So in this way, uh, who to handle these thing through the default values, setting the default value for the fields so uh add what you can do uh you will have to just add a default uh parameter inside the field same like this one name is equal to fields are char charge a string type and default is equal to unknown so you can set any value for this this will just come up by default when you click on the create button uh so this is another example like user ids field is equal to field start many to one many to one uh, this is the model uh, with which uh, this uh, field is linked and the default value can be a python function like a lambda which will return the current user uh, uh, that is locked in that is going to create the record so self.env uh, is uh, give us an option to the request parameter and uh, it also gives us some other useful things for example uh, self.env.cr or self.cr is the database cursor so which we can use to run the queries database queries self.env.uid or self.uid will return the uh, id of the current user that is logged in self.env.user is the current user record this will return the record and this will return the uh, id only so this is the difference between these two self.env.context uh, or self. Uh, underscore context both are same thing which will return a context dictionary self.env.ref uh, here we will have to mention the xml id so this way we can get the xml id record uh self.env uh, uh, brackets model name so this way we can get uh, the instance of the given model or we can create the object of the given model so what we are going to do in this video we are going to get the default value same like uh, we can see in the sale order uh, case what we will do if we go to our uh, module open academy and then go to sessions uh, if i click on the sessions i want to uh, just add by default the current date here and i want to add another field like active so whenever i click on the create button the active field should be true so i want to add a boolean field uh, and it should be true uh, and, uh, by default so this thing uh, i want to add in this uh, uh, video so what i will do i will go to the py file open academy view py file and here i will add a default parameter default equal to field start date dot today so what this will do this uh field start data today will return the current date and default parameter will set it as a uh, current date so let me restart the server and uh, just go here to sessions menu and then click on the create button to uh, see the change so let's let's see so we can see that uh this is filled up by default with a current date so this is the uh, use of the default value setting default value so another thing uh which uh i will do in this video is to add uh, another field which uh is active is equal to fields that uh, type will be boolean and uh, i want to set the default value uh let me set the label uh, which will be active and then set the default value by adding the default parameter as 
true so as this is the boolean field so i can add either true or false here so keeping in mind the type of the field you can add the relevant value uh, in the default uh, if it is a many to one you can add uh, the iod for that uh, as a default value if it's a char you can add uh, the string value as a default so uh, whatever uh, the field type is you will have to add uh, the same type of uh, default value so let me add this field uh, on the view also So after the module upgrade, uh, we will be able to see the change, the new field that has been added and by default it will be true uh, whenever uh, we click on the create button. So let me create, uh, click on the create buttons and here and we can see the change, a new field active has been added and it is true by default and we can make it uh, uncheck also. So this is uh, it for today. So please uh, like this video and also subscribe our channel if you haven't already and please uh, share with your colleague thank you